the Bacon Bigfoot Army. Whoa! Get the crap out of town. It's just like a meteor strike. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Ark Eternal! Having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well, because me. I'm doing pretty epic, that's right, because last episode, we tamed up quite possibly the most epic creature in this mod. Yeah, for sure, the Bacon Overlord Griffins. They don't look like much. I mean, they're pretty cool. Tech Griffin, awesome glow, yeah, but they hit like a ton of bricks. For many of the creatures that we battle, they are by far the fastest and best to battle with so yeah pretty pumped about that i think it may be pretty hard to top i think there's maybe one more creature left that is better however we're gonna have to find out because we have other bacon creatures apparently bacon seems to be like the best here in this mod now so yeah we have the bacon uh monkeys we got bacon metal monkeys the bacon griffins we got the bacon daddies the bacon overlord Lots and lots of bacons, but I know of at least one more that we haven't checked out yet, and that is the Bacon Bigfoot. So I've got my bacon, my instantane meat, and let's head out and see if we can grab one or two of them. I'm, I'm super curious. I don't know. They, they're going to be somewhere between the, uh, the monkeys and the griffins, but either way, I think they should be pretty cool and end tier creatures so let's do the best we can and find it them and guys let me just remind you if you're enjoying the series to show that amazing support it helps me out oh so much by smashing that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet seriously what are you waiting for it is the perfect time to subscribe also, if you want to play along with us, remember, we do have a member server. Yes, for any of you YouTube members or Twitch subscribers, both are welcome. Just head on over to the Discord if you'd like more info. For that, all you got to do is go in the description and click on the link. All right, guys, uh, let me do my best to hunt one down. Wish me luck. Holy crap, I think I found one, guys. Yeah, this one's a little bit further away from all the rest, but I saw this commotion going on, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, I think we're going to have to switch up, though. Um, Let's just see here. I've been getting into all sorts of trouble. Come on, buddy, bro. Get picked up, Overlord Griffin. Let's go grab Doom Doggo. Awesome, our knockout master. And let's see if we can get this guy out. Hopefully he's gonna be like the metal monkey that went out in one shot. Let's see. Dude, this thing is so cool looking. Dude, one shot him, that is epic. All right, we just gotta survive and bada boom, instantane meat. We got it guys, we got it. Holy crap, you are epic looking dude i love that all right let's get them packed up and i i suppose i wouldn't mind getting another let, let me see let me see if i can find one more to be a uh, a pair to breed with all right heading back to uh yeah the normal spot this is where we've tamed most of the bacons and it looks like we've got one right there we want a male ideally that's a female Let's see. Get out of here, Allosaur. I do not like you. Get out of here, you two snake. All right, let's see. What's this one over here? Come here, buddy, bro. What are you? So again, we wanted a male, ideally. And, oh, female. All right. There's another one down there. Let's get this one knocked out. Come on. Right? It was a, a male that we wanted? Let me see. Bacon Bigfoot. We already have a female. Let's see. What are the stats in that one? 96 in the male. I, well, we're not going to know. It's not going to compare until it's tamed. Oh, we got a knocked out one. Okay, that's kind of cool. 
Oh, these are probably all got knocked out the other day when we were... Oh, there's a male. Look at it. It's knocked out. Dude, that's insane. When I was uh, spamming to get the uh, griffins knocked out and everything else... Dude, let's just tame them all if they're knocked out. Why not? We'll have the Bacon Bigfoot Army. That would be epic. All right. Let's grab another. Awesome. All right. This is too good. It's so funny. These guys have such high torpor. They stay knocked out for like ever. Another one. Oh, my Lord. All right. We got. Oh, there's a male. All right. Come on, guys. Dude, 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 Doom Doggo, get them. Get wrecked. You too. Jeez. Uh oh, uh oh, no, don't follow them off the cliff, you dummies. All right, whatever. Whatever. Let's go get the rest of these guys. Get out of here, Stego. All right, we saw another one. Yeah, right over here. And I think this was another male. Awesome. Boom. Holy crap. It's got that crazy move like the griffin does. Yikes. All right. Ooh, don't get me with that, please. And another bacon. Awesome. Dude. All right, I think that's all we need because I do want to save some of the other bacons here to try and battle them to see if other stuff will spawn from them. All right, all these guys should be following me. Come on, guys. Let's go. That is so epic. The Bacon Bigfoot Army. Boom. Boom. I feel like, whoa, I feel like we should have more. Is that all we got? That might have been all we got. Let's just see. Is there any more hanging out down here? Is that all of them? All right. I guess that's all of them. Dude, what is this? Is that a bacon? Oh, I was hoping there was such thing as a bacon rock drake. That would have been cool. Get wrecked, rock drake. All right. Let's go take our bacon army back to the base. and Let's find out what they're going to be like and what our best one is. All right, we have returned with the Bacon Bigfoot Army. Five strong, and I have to say, these things look sick. Um, There is one major difference between that of the gorilla and the Bigfoot. And the that is, the Bigfoot actually doesn't, it has a costume slot. Um, No armor slot, but because of the costume slot, we can actually put... An armor stone in it which will probably give it real you know much better survivability i think all in all it's pretty cool if i look at it with the spyglass it says another bacon overlord tribute dino um this one is the same tier as a dark star boss i don't know if that's good news or bad news dark star boss is epic um so i mean that's at least good but i thought bacon tier was even higher so I'm not going to expect it to be as strong as some of the others. Um, for instance, this one, I mean, they're all un knocked out by unknown tier and he doesn't really specify. No, this one says dark star. Also, it doesn't really say what tier though uh, the Griffin is. So anyway, it's not, it's going to be good. It's going to be at least as good as the dark star, I would assume. And it says, uh, let's see what else torpor. Okay. It's attack is our button. Torpor special attack. Ooh, it's a Torpor dino. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Um, why don't we right off the bat? If whoa, dude, there's something going on in my server. I might have to do some sort of restart soon. It's, it's there's something weird ever since the last arc update came out. I don't know if I've updated the server yet. Anyway. All right, guys. So big boost from being imprinted. That's cool. You got imprinted, right, buddy? Yeah, you did. Let's go ahead. You need a little health. There you go. Oh, that's weird. Look at it. They get... um. Why do you look different? All right. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead. I think it was just delayed reaction. But they get the hex uh, all these like little hexagons on them. As they're taking damage. It's kind of cool. So you can see. 
All right, there you go, guys. But this one is by far our strongest. 155 melee off the bat. The next closest is probably that one. 150. Yeah, so you're going to be the leader, bro. And let's find out. Is it any good? Is it going to be worth our time with breeding? So let's head on over to the desert. Oh, that's annoying. I can't press Q to put my thing away. Well, hopefully I can press that there we go all right awesome it does have a jump which is epic holy crud decently fast i could see wanting to pump a little bit of movement speed but not a necessity let's go smack somebody these guys might be mate boosted uh-oh oh oh all right we are in business see why did the megapithecus got done so dirty it didn't even hit for a mill what the crap this is better than the megapithecus all right so that's the normal hit we of course have jump it says there's a special r whoa it called it a torpor attack so that's kind of interesting so there it's r right click whoa get the crap out of town it's just like a meteor strike Holy crap, then is there a C? All right, looks like C is doing some sort of harvest. Axe, nothing. Whoa, what did that just do? I just pressed Q. That was weird. I don't know what happened. Um. Oh, nothing. Left control, right control. All right, it looks like that's all the potential moves. So let's find out what they actually do now. Can we find somebody? That one thing pretty much wiped out everybody. All right, can I aim this that well? I'm going to press the R. Oh, it kind of launches it. Holy crap. Can I aim down more? Pretty hard to aim at, at a little tiny bug. Ooh, 140. Okay. And let's see if I press C. Whoa, big damage. I don't even know. That was like the harvest, I thought. All right, can I harvest with that button? Yeah, I can. All right. No, this thing is pretty cool. It is definitely cool. I think it would be better, though, against, like, you know, hordes of bosses or something. Um, Why don't we just get it maxed out and level? And then I honestly think, like, it gives us, uh, it gives us protection, rider protection. Ooh, I also like you can strafe left and right on it. That's pretty sweet. Boom. Oh. Um, let's go take this guy over to the boss fighting area. I think it can handle it. No problem. All right. We are at max attack in. Look at that. One, two, three, four, and a five. So yeah, just, just wanted to see before we get into the bosses. So 3.3 mil, not bad. And I found the reason why uh, that's with the C, the collect. Um, this guy cannot harvest normally with his normal attack. So you got to use the C, which basically does an attack too, but that'll harvest. Um, I did find, let's see if we can find somebody more substantial to hit. I kind of wish I pumped movement speed over health. I did as much health as I could. All right. That move does not power up for huge damage. So it calls it again. It, it says Torpor special attack is R. That's the button I press. So it's got to be a Torpor thing. What? It's just weird because it's got like lava. So I don't know how that would work. You don't want to damage a creature after you hit it unless it just does Torpor damage. I don't know. We'll we'll have to find out. And then, of course, this move, not super accurate. In fact, it's kind of weird. It's hitting everywhere but where I want it to hit. And the hits that it's doing on stuff isn't like huge damage. It's such a weird, bizarre move. I just don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, so I don't expect this guy to be a crazy boss killer. But if you got this kind of early on, holy crap. It, uh, it could be interesting. Again, quite possibly better for groups. So, uh, again, let's go ahead, scoop this guy for now. Come here, buddy, bro. 
And of course, if we were to breed this, I think we could get it up probably close to six mil per hit. But I mean, that just does not compare to the Griffin. But hey, I didn't expect it to. Either way, though, it's still a very cool creature. Let's head on over to our favorite uh, spot to just cause havoc. Let's see what it's like against a boss. You never know. We were surprised with the uh, member that resurrected Gollum. Again, doesn't compare to our tippity top stuff, but it still was a lot better than we had expected. And this hits, I believe, for a lot more than that guy did. So, yeah, let's see. Can we find some resurrected? Should have no problem with resurrected guys. All right, we got some resurrected right here. Come on, buddy. And re remember, we got an army of these. So, you know, while maybe one on its own isn't that insane, it's probably pretty good once you add them all up. Look at that. Inflamed and slowed, it's, it calls it. That's when I did the Torpor button. And it definitely adds up. Look at that. The tick damage. So, I mean, that in itself is pretty good. All right, let's try this on this guy. All right, it kind of seems like it's not taking the lava damage. All right, don't like the knockback that we're getting. But no, no, it is, it is taking that damage. Jeez. So again, just not quite enough for, for this little dude, but um, the armor stone's definitely helping us. Come on. Yeah, see, it starts to get kind of difficult. If you, you almost got to sprint towards the guy while attacking and the DPS on him's not phenomenal. Especially again, getting that knockback. Come on, Brosy. But I think it's important you do that R move to keep the uh, the fire down there to get that, you know, it would prevent any type of healing or anything else that could go on. But yeah, this guy could definitely use another move. Now, one neat thing, again, because in Eternal, uh, the mod author, Lucian Kane, took over. He is now the uh, lead modder on Pugnacia Dinos. And... Uh, could be kind of cool if he added in the ability, like in Pug, for all the Gigantopithecus to be able to hold tools. And that could, you know, potentially help with getting a little bit better damage output and also giving more uses for this guy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, it's super hard to do uh, a lot of the moves while we're getting pushed around and falling. Let's do a little heal up. So at least I could eat while falling. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is crazy. And this is not even a hard mode guy. So very cool creature, definitely not a bosser. But you could add in a whole bunch of them to help fight. If it had a saddle and armor stone, that might be a little different story. But... It's also one, I think it's the smallest of all the uh, bacon type creatures. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed. I think it's pretty cool. That being said, we'll probably breed it. I'm probably not gonna go into it today though, cause that's gonna take me some time and I just kind of not in the mood. We've been doing so much breeding and what I am kind of excited about is, oh, oh, that's a problem. That, that right there is a major problem. Holy crap. Um, that guy's very tough. Oh, Lordy. Um, all right. Let's get you picked up. Holy crap. Quick, 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 quick. Where's the griffin? Oh, where's my other? Gri oh, is, did I leave him out? I think I did. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's use the griffin against him. This is like a pretty, uh, top tier boss. Right? Oh my Lord. It, I mean, see what I'm saying? Like. Why would you ever use anything else when you have this? It is just too good. My lordy. All right, come on. Just melts. Oh, look at that mana armor. All right, I forgot what this guy's other big move is. Is it Q? Crap. It's funny. How quickly you forget. 
because all these guys all have different moves in different places. It is just remarkable how quick that is. Holy cow. And what do we got here? Terra Nova. That's not the tameable one. So Terra Nova Tribute Dino. Um, it's a Dark Star tier, so it's not as good as it used to be, but 10% um, chance. So that's like Terra Nova is like the special tribute Dark Star, basically. And used to be, I would say, the best creature in the mod. It would be nice if some of these older creatures got like a TLC or something, you know? Or like more endgame variants or versions. Anyway, let's see if we get lucky today. And if we can get that special Terra Nova to come in. Oh, it would be so sick if it did. For the collection. Alright, got... Nope. Phantasmal Giga. Like, it's super rare. It's super rare to be able to get it. Alright, hard mode gorilla. Let's go! Come on, what is the special move in this guy? Okay, I think it... I gotta figure that out. I can't remember. R? Oh, it's R. Okay. Yes! I mean, look at it! Like a hard mode! It is absolutely nutty. Alright, and... Hard mode gorilla is done. All right, anybody spawn off that? No. Nope. What you gonna do? All right, uh, what was I doing? There was another, uh, I saw a clone of myself out here. Ooh, that was a good bag. Mystery element. It looks like it despawned already. I've been curious about with the clones of the bacons, you know, when you kill a bacon, it makes another bacon spawn. So, kind of uh, interesting. Anyway, yeah, let me see if I can get myself into a little bit more trouble today. All right, we are back over in the bacon area. Yes, this is pretty much where every single bacon I've ever seen has spawned. Um, don't know if this is a normal area or if it's just because I was across the way in the desert when I, uh, you know, was battling all the bacon overlords. I don't know. We'll find out when I have to do that again. But there should be, hopefully, a few more bacons in here. And I want to search them out and see if we can use them to get even more bacons to show up amongst possible other things. Ooh, there's a lot of goodies around here. All right, come here, resurrected Dodo Rex. That's cool. All right, come on. Dude, these guys resist like crazy, the spectral ones. Good lord. All right, can we get anything cool to spawn in from them? Dude, I wish I could tame one of these. They look epic. They are almost harder to get than uh, a lot of the bosses. Good god. Oh, this guy resists fire. Come on. Dude, just look at them all go down super quick. All right, we got hard mode. Come on, buddy. And trying to do my big move against him. Jeez, this is the only one that's super duper annoying. Oh, what is this up here? Oh, that's crazy looking. Spectral Dodorex? Oh, it got froze. That's why. Come on, buddy. All right, let's get them all finished. So some of these guys would probably be easier with the Golem. Basically, anything that we can use our fire attack on, it just melts. All right, what else we got? Tons more Spectrals. Come on. All right, you're done. I don't know what's going on. My, uh, did it work now? A second ago, the R move was working and now it's not working. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Why? Oh. All right, I keep forgetting. I can't use the fire on him. Come on, dude. 
Let's go. I'm just going to smash him. And... Give me anything but another wyvern, please. All right. Beautiful. Anybody else? All right. Now, what's up with this other move? Why is it not working properly? It's really annoying me. It says... X, right click, and Z, and left controls to pick up. Oh, so was it X the whole time? Yeah, that's why. I don't know why it went off before when I pressed R. I swear it did. All right, what do we got? What do we got? There's, uh, no, not a bacon. We still have not come across a bacon yet. What the crap? Another reaper doing. Let's find ourselves a bacon. You know what might make this easier? Believe it or not, our Snow Owl, while not as strong as the Bacon, still likely has one thing going for it. And that is its insane, insane AoE. All right, let's pick it up. Let's see, do I still have him Starbright? Starburst. Yes. I wish some of these Bacons had these this guy's moves. Ready? I mean, it doesn't do as much damage, but that is, it's just so good. All right, so we're probably gonna end up destroying this thing without even meaning to, without even laying our eyes on it, because this is probably strong enough to take out most of the bacons. All right, and we'll see if something comes in. Oh, it is just such an epic move. I missed you. So very much. All right. Do we even see any? I know there is more here. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see uh, them getting destroyed by the snow owl. Oh, having this uh, pickup inventory is so good. The uh, pickup mod. Highly recommended just for picking up all the bags. That's also why they're glowing all red. All right, what do we got? What's up, guys? Hmm. All right, let's go this way. There's got to be a bacon in here, right? We might have already destroyed them. All right, there could be some down there still. Let's go over here and spam this. Holy crap. All right, how we doing? Anybody? Hey, well, it looks like it's probably all cleared. I think we might have to go and do all those bacon overlords again. Yeah, we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm going to keep on doing this over and over, and I'll see if there's any left in this area. There was definitely some more, but I don't know. Maybe they went bye-bye. All right. After clearing out the whole area, the only one I found is this little guy. I noticed him down here. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I would assume there's a small chance. Dude, this is crazy. The amount of resistance it has. Holy crap. To, uh, to this guy, it is absolutely nuts. 89 million. Holy crap. I would just tame it because it's quicker, but... All right. Um, right. Let's send the Snow Owl back to the base. It's so loaded up with stuff right now. I cannot pick it all up. You go to there. And hopefully our Griffin should be able to take him out in seconds. All right. Yeah, look at that. All right, any bacons from it? Whoa, we got it. We did. All right, we got a bacon monkey from him. All right, any more? Ah, oh, we couldn't get a good chain going. All right, but you know what? Maybe next time we should do the golems over here so we can immediately immediately see what spawns from them. 
and there is the chance remember we saw that giant titan that is one thing that there is a possibility i think it's called armageddon the spawn when battling a bacon and if you can defeat them there's the chance it getting a tameable one yeah so definitely something to look forward to but i think on that note we did pretty good today we did everything that i set out to do no crazy good boss spawns but hey you know some days you're lucky some days you're not anyway let's head on back to the base and let me go through those comments all right guys i just finished going through the comments and yes it is now that time that's right time to name the dinos for those of you that do not know at the end of every single episode i go through the comments of the previous episode and i pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there that's right just remember if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen you got to be a subscriber so smash that subscribe button and yeah just comment down below it is just that easy anyway for today we have our two best bacon griffins to name and one of the mega peas so let's get to it um, we did Bikido for the last Megapithecus, and today we have Bikita for the female to go with it. Very, very cool. Totally love it. Um, we have Silver Chaos Queen, which is actually two names. I had Silver Queen and Chaos, and I combined them together because both so epic. In fact, there are so many good ones, but don't worry. There's plenty of guys to go. So if you didn't get your name chosen, go ahead. Comment it again for next time. But we have Baconator, which I, we might have already used, but I think we upgraded them. If I can't remember for our Bacon Overlord. But in either case, we have the new Baconator. So very sweet. For next time, we have to name our Bacon Bigfoots, all five in the army. So help me out, guys, in the comments below. What should their names be? Anyway, on that note, guys, thank you so very much for watching. It has been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.